Yeah, yeah. it might be. Thank oh you. Oh my God, so cute. Oh, just that, right? Yeah. You put that in the ground. With a collection of farmers around us, so we kind of take out the middlemen. Hey, you know, okay. Get this little guy. Started making jam in 1975. New pasture raised, certified organic, soy free fed pork. Rockaboli. Okay, got it. So, not bad. the Union Square Green Market and we're here at the peak of the the season which is the fall because that's when most of the vendors are out and when it's the busiest because there's so many beautiful fruits and vegetables and plants and breads and meats and fish and everything so we're gonna go check out some vendors now The Green Market is a producer-only market with rigorous grow-your-own standards. Selling directly to customers is fantastic because you get to know the farmers, bakers, and fishers who grow your food. The Union Square Green Market was founded in 1976 and it started with just a few vendors and now it's grown to over 140 name it, and they've got it here. It's really wonderful. Wow, look at these, fairy tale eggplant, how adorable. Chocolate mint, mmm, well, you can really smell the mint. You like that one, Hudson? Yeah, you like that one? <laughs> Hudson's selecting for us. During the month of October, tons of vegetables are in season, including summer and winter squash, peppers, pumpkins, fennel, herbs, corn, mescaline, and lettuce. This is the one. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Get this little guy. Oh, <laughs> So this vegetable stand has their farm in Orangeville, Pennsylvania, and they come to the market to sell their fresh goods. We got some apple cider and it's really delicious. Mm, so good. Extra good. So what's the secret to growing garlic? Is there one? It just takes a little care. It's a little more work than some other crops. Unlike almost every other vegetable, we plant this one in the fall. And then it goes dormant during the winter, and then it starts to put on, uh, then it's, it's, so when it goes in the ground, it's just this little clove here, right? Oh, just that, right? Yeah, and you put that in the ground, 
it starts to grow a few roots, and then the winter comes, everything freezes. Right. And then spring comes, and everything warms up, it gets a little moist in the soil, and this stem starts to grow. And then eventually, this whole bulb, the one flow fills out into the bulb, and you got several clothes. That's the process. All these leaves turn, all the leaves turn brown, and that's when you know it's about time to take it out of the ground. Oh. Yeah. You, oh, take it, cool. you take it out, you hang it up, it dries for another couple weeks, you cut off the stem to about here, and then it should, that's the curing process, it should, it should keep for another two or three months. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Well, thank you. you bet. So I gotta try this Rakambali garlic. As it says, it's arguably the best garlic in the world. So we're gonna give it a try. Rakamboli. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. So. You can see what's in season at the Green Market by using the harvest calendar provided by the New York State Department of Agriculture. Or you can use the Union Square Green Market app to not only see what's in season, but who's at the market on any given day because it's updated daily. Just search Green Market in the App Store. We have a try to give it a try. Hi. The Green Market is open year round, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from 8 to 6 p.m. She's going on a date after work, but she doesn't have a date. You think he can smell it through the plastic? Oh, yeah, he can. He can, right? He <laughs> Okay. okay, so here we are at Grayson Angus Acres from um, Ghent, yes. New York. We're about a half hour south of Albany, two and a half hours outside the city. And what do you raise there? We do uh, grass fed and finished beef. We do pasture raised certified organic soy free fed pork. And we do pasture raised uh, soy free organic fed chicken. Right now, we've actually just finished with our chicken season, so we have beef and pork going through the winter. Be the, your signature, you know... Our signature steak is actually the ribeye. It's bringing things back the way that they should be, you know, and having a better product, having a cleaner product. It does cost a little bit more, but it's a healthier product. Right. Grays and Angus Acres also has its own distillery, Grays and Distillery, producing small batch whiskey using organic local grain ingredients and fruits used to flavor some of the spirits. There's also a variety of fruits in season, including apples, grapes, pears, and raspberries. We tried the Ginger Boost Detox Brew, which has ginger, echinacea, and fresh lemon sweetened with sugar. Chui Fontaine Farm also sells herbal tinctures, elixirs, tonics, salves, balms, and sachets.
Catskill Merino Sheep Farm raises Saxon Merino sheep that produce super fine merino wool. They produce many yarn colors which are hand dyed on the farm and they also sell pasture raised lamb meat. Oh, hello, and now he likes the creature comforts. Like he would oh, love, hello. love that sheepskin blanket. Everything's blankets now. <laughs> Amazing. Many crops sold at the green market were harvested less than 24 hours before market. Other foods keep longer, including onions, apples, potatoes, and cheese. This awesome sunflower seeds. Isn't that great? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is the raspberry here. My wife and daughter make it. Oh, wow. Where is your farm? Uh, Beckett, Massachusetts, in the Berkshires. I love all your hand painted signs too. Yeah, that was done with my finger. Just back in Massachusetts. Oh, you just did it with your finger yeah. painting? Yeah, when I was a kid. <laughs> That's beeswax. My wife and daughter make all these jams, but my wife started making jam in 1975. And she's done now up to 30 different kinds. Oh, wow. Raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, to now garlic jelly, horseradish jelly. Well, I would love to get a raspberry because I sampled it and I think it's amazing. Oh, good. So put me down for that. Hudson, have a cracker? Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Give Hudson what he wants. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hudson approves. So we got the raspberry jam from Berkshire Berries because we sampled it and it's amazing. So we'll have it tomorrow morning. The Union Square Green Market Farmer's Market is located on the north, west, and east sides of Union Square Park. The best way to get to Union Square is to take the LNQRW or the 4, 5, and 6 train and get off right here at Union Square Station. The F is good for allergies right now. Okay. And the respiratory. Okay. Yeah. It's a slow one. It's good for lungs and throat. Okay. Thank you for explaining. Do you want a bag? <laughs> I don't know. Look at that. That's in this big thing. Like that? Roaming Acres specializes in bison, ostrich, pork, and pastured chicken. They not only sell meat, but also pet products, including pig ears, ostrich, and bison bones. We got an ostrich bone for Hudson for $11. Union Square Grassman sells fresh wheatgrass juice and a variety of fresh cut salad greens year round at the farmer's market. Find here somewhere. Oh, that's not a problem. Is that the farm? Oh. 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 The Union Square Green Market farmers, bakers, and fishers come from a broad area of the Northeast, including parts of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, and New England. They sell what they grow, raise, catch, and bake themselves. Middlemen or brokers are not allowed. What's that like, around an hour and a half, two hours north of here? Uh, three. Oh, three? Oh, that's pretty far. And we're mostly west, a little bit north, but mostly west, actually. We're in the Catskills. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Thank you. Hi. Can I try a sample of your mozzarella? Hi. It's not for you. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. 
It might be. Thank oh you. Oh my God, so cute. It's we also really do delicious. Yeah, we do a grass-fed milk, so we can do a fresh mozzarella. We can do an aged cheese. Can I give him a wash on. Oh, he would love that. His name is Hudson. Hudson, sit down. At Fantastic Gardens, they sell a large selection of high quality potted plants. And their stand is always located between the north and west sides of Union Square Park on Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays. Most plants here require little light. They all clean the air. They all grow easily. Good to know. I love these little ornamental pepper plants. S and SO Produce Farm vegetables from Orange County, New York and is one of the Green Market's founding farmers in 1976. They produce over a hundred different varieties of vegetables, including their beloved red onions, as well as peppers, radishes, asparagus, zucchini, and tomatoes. They're at the farmer's market every Wednesday and Saturday at the north side of Union Square Park. Other vegetables in season in October include corn, string beans, and shell beans. Are those also shell beans? Those are not. Those are eat-it-all beans. They oh, could yeah, have been roll longer. They could have been. The cranberries and the kidneys. Look at the cranberries. So we organically grow all our corn, rye, and barley to make our products. We make bourbon, rye, and single malt. Uh, we actually focus on something called terroir, which is much more a wine term than anything. It refers to, you know, the fields the grapes are grown in and the rich agriculture. So we actually grow not only on our own property, all these ingredients, but with a collection of farmers around us. So we kind of take out the middlemen. We finished our food tour of the farmer's market with a hot apple cider from Migliori Farm, which sells vegetables, orchard fruit, and beer from Dutchess County, New York. They're at Union Square on Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed our food tour and more of the Union Square Green Market. The fall is definitely the best time to enjoy this farmer's market. Please hit the subscribe button and notification bell and give it a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. We'll be posting new videos every Friday. Bye guys. Bye guys.